Denise Boyd here, and today's Motivational Monday post is titled, Finding Comfort Outside of Your Comfort Zone. That's right, I am Denise Boyd, and today we're going to talk about finding comfort outside of your comfort zone, or really, finding success and comfort outside of your comfort zone. So look, if this is your first time finding me here on YouTube, let me tell you a little bit about what I do. So. I personally help busy moms like myself find avenues or ways to make money online. But on top of that, I add on a little mindset with Motivational Mondays and then the money part, payday your way Friday. Because I personally believe that if the mindset ain't right, the paycheck, the money will never be right. So stick with me and I will walk you through how to not just become successful, but actually stay there. Now, in the meantime, make sure that you subscribe, give me a like, and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will get notified the next time that I make a post. And just to recap, I always post on Mondays, Motivational Mondays, and I post on Fridays, Payday Your Way Friday. All right, so today, this day is like, one of the toughest ones because a lot of people don't like to be outside of their comfort zone. They just want success in their own comfort, right? I wanted it, so I don't blame you. <laughs> However, it's really difficult. It's super difficult to find the success you desire, but also the success that you deserve when you stay in your comfort zone. So today I'm going to urge you to get out of your comfort zone. <laughs> like I know that sounds like easy said, easier said than done, but you can do it. You just have to really want what you say you want. So how, how do you get out of your comfort zone to find your success? I'm glad you asked. So first things first, you have to know why what is your why your big why and i'm sure that you've heard a lot of people a lot of make money gurus tell you that you need to have a why but besides the why have a vision like some people don't necessarily have a why but some people may have a vision so for example i always had a vision of myself owning my own business. It was just always there. Even when I was younger, because when I was 18, I was like, okay, guess what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go ahead and start a business. And I did. I started a network marketing business and it was okay for a minute. But then honestly, you all, I wasn't really there. I wasn't ready for it. Like I was ready to make the money, but my mindset in order to get where I need to be to actually make that money and keep that money or do right with that money was not there. And that is what has birthed this, what you see right now and what I do on this YouTube channel. So first off, figure out what your eye is and figure out what your vision is. Now, some of the visions have already been like playing over and over in your mind and sometimes we tend to like shoo them away because we, we may think, oh, I can't do that or whatever. I don't know why we ever think that because we can. <laughs> like we could literally do all of that and more. Like why can't we? And I'll tell you why we can't. Because we have those limiting beliefs and we have to get rid of that limiting belief. So that'll take me to my second point. So the first point is to figure out your why or your vision. And the second point is to discard those limiting beliefs. So if you are trying to get further along on your success journey, what's going to happen is they're going to be times where you're going to have to do things that are kind of scary. I mean, literally, they're going to be kind of scary. And you're going to have to decide if you're going to do it or not. Now, honestly, once you get on the other side of that, you're going to realize that it really wasn't that scary anyway. You're going to be like, why did not I do this a long time ago? And that's partially because of those limiting beliefs. So we normally would believe that something is scary 
because we don't have the full answer. Like I'm sure you've heard people say fear means false evidence appearing real because in most cases, that's all fear is. Because have you ever noticed that a lot of the things that you've done that you were forced into doing <laughs> that was kind of fearful, you came out okay. Like, look, if you're a mom like me, You've had kids, we were forced into having to have the childbirth, right? <laughs> like it wasn't like we could just say, oh no, we'll just keep it in there. You can't do that. And you were forced to go through with that. And for me, it has been nothing but joy being able to see my kids, take care of my kids, have fun with my kids, you know, all those good things. Yeah, there's some rough times, but the good times always outweigh the bad. So that was something that I was forced into once they you know, once it was time to have them, but the joy came. So think about it from that perspective. Whenever you see fear that you've already, things that you've already gone through that has caused you fear, think about what if I just go and do it myself, right? So if you actually go and do things that you are afraid to do before you're forced to do them, it honestly, it's a whole lot easier and a whole lot less stressful, okay? So first, I want you to make sure that you decide that this is something that you know is going to help push you forward. Because sometimes things, when you're fearful, it could be something true enough to be fear fearful of, but it could also be something... Um, that you need to do to push you forward. So if this is going to push you forward, step out. Like, why not? And that's my third point. Make the decision. Don't be forced into making a decision. Make it on purpose. So first, find your why or your vision. Second, get rid of those limiting beliefs. And third, decide you're going to do it and do it on purpose. So honestly, you all, and you may have heard this story before if you, if you follow me, and this story is, is still dear to my heart. So I deal with certain health conditions. Um, yes, the doctor has given me the diagnosis, but not the prognosis, of course. Now, thankfully, it's nothing that will kill me, but it is debilitating, unfortunately. However, when the pandemic started at that moment, me, along with a whole lot of other people, thought, man, maybe I should think and do something different right now. Yes, it was kind of scary, but they did it. I did it, you know, and we're not in the same spot that we were then. Like I knew that my health was not going to allow me to keep working for other people as I have in the past. So I said, well, Lord, show me what to do. I've got to do something because if I don't do something, then, you know, things may start tumbling down. So I was kind of, I was kind of forced, but I moved before I was truly forced, <laughs> if that makes sense. So thankfully, I made that move before I was actually forced to make that move. So for you, I want to encourage you to go ahead, make that decision today that you are going to step out on faith and do what you need to do to get to your next step of success. Because don't forget, success, my friend, is not a destination. It is a journey. And if anyone ever tells you that success is a destination, that's a flat out lie. Because if you get somewhere What's going to happen <laughs> if you get somewhere and you're like, oh, I made it. Then what? Then what are you going to do? You still got to keep moving because if you don't keep moving, you can automatically go backwards. If you're not moving forward, you're automatically either standing still. But if you're standing still, honestly, you're moving backwards because everything else is moving forward. So don't you stand still in all of this. Keep moving and decide today that you are not going to be forced into making a decision to step out of your comfort zone because when you decide to do it on purpose, on purpose now, do this on purpose. If you decide to do it on purpose, then you will actually 
make it further on your success journey. Why? Because you did so on purpose. So my challenge to you is to definitely, as always, go get you an accountability partner if you don't have one already. If you have one, great. You can um, get them in on this. You can actually either recap what I said or you can send them this video. Either one is fine. And then once you do that, then you all can kind of talk about things and help push each other forward because it's nothing like having someone hold you accountable. So don't get you a yes man or a yes woman, a yes mom. Get you someone that's truly going to say, hey, you said that you were going to do this, but you didn't. What's up? What's holding you back? How can I help push you forward? And then if they can't, <clears throat> if you don't say how, you know, you can help them push you forward, then they need to say, you better do it or <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever needs to be done because sometimes we need that. But I want you to get to the point where you don't need the force that you just are excited to get out there and do it because believe it or not, I have not met one single, one single successful person who has not faced fear and stepped out of their comfort zone any way. All right. So in the meantime, I want you all to get ready for Payday Your Way Friday because I am going to show you the benefits of stepping outside of your comfort zone for your business. Okay. I am excited and I look forward to to seeing you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. And as I always say, stay peaceful, positive, and productive. I'll see you next time.